Hey guys, what's up? It is a friendly neighborhood Uber Goose here. The seat is on the screen. Here's another breaking run. This time we're gonna do piggy bank. Is piggy bank a good item? Yeah, I love piggy bank. It's actually one of my favorite uh, shop items in the game. Obviously, I would rank Sharp Plug a little bit higher. Let's reroll that. Yeah! I'd rate uh, Sharp Plug a little bit higher, but I feel like that doesn't really need too much elaboration. I feel like that's a pretty understood sort of thing because of how much I fucking scream for Sharp Plug to drop in every run. I love Sharp Plug, alright? Like, sorry. You know. Sorry if you can't handle my adoration for a really, really neat item. Um, so this is so far a good floor. Uh, we got a little bit of cash. Not too terribly much, but a little bit. And we got a nice... Yeah, isn't this a damage up or was it a tears up? Well, it feels... Okay, if I kill this Dingle Bear in one shot... Okay, it's a damage up then. Because you don't normally do that with base damage. And Piggy Bank is not a damage up, I will tell you that. <laughs> that much I know. So... Concussive Tears is a damage up. It's a small one, if I remember correctly. Haunt. Well, that's pretty fucking brutal. Kind of expected at this point, though. If I have a run that starts on the cellar, it's pretty much going to be Haunt for the first boss. Every time. Okay, cool. Only took one hit on the first phase, and the first phase is way harder, so. I mean, the second phase, I'll probably still get hit, like, fucking eight times or some shit. But at least we don't got no Isaac's heart, am I right? I love how he just doesn't know what to do. <laughs> He's like, I'm fucking real confused. Like, most enemies are just, like, they walk around. But look at the look at Haunt, holy shit. Alright, I do not like fighting the Haunt with fear or concussive tears. That's This isn't going well. <laughs> Very unpredictable movement and attacking. It's okay now. I'll take an HP up. I'll get this heart and then I'll go back for the other one. And we're at 12 cents because we took so much damage, but we're gonna leave the floor with full HP and 12 cents. We okay, so this is the difficult thing. Because there is no room that is surrounded, like there's no spot for a secret room that's surrounded by three, it could literally be anywhere. It's not like it has to be adjacent to two now. It could literally be anywhere on that floor. So this is the main benefit of Piggy Bank, is that it gets you to the five cent mark, which allows arcades to spawn. And it allows you to play arcades and get, or play blood banks in arcades to get a shitload of cash. Which is phenomenal. It also synergizes really well with Sharp Plug. Oh, does it, Goose? Yeah, I know, crazy. So I'm gonna play this bad boy down to half a red heart because I feel comfortable. That's pretty incredible. I will, yeah, no, I'll take that, absolutely. We have enough coinage to make our shop worth it. And we have a reroll ready for whatever we so desire. I haven't seen a Tinder Rock yet. I might be blind to them, but I believe that we haven't actually had a single one. Okay, and you die. There we go. There's one. <laughs> As I say it. Thank you, game. That's awesome. More spirit hearts. So we should be getting a deal with the devil on this floor, which means I will not be re-rolling because we've done so many rooms. I will not be re-rolling shop or item room unless we come back to do that. But I, I will want to carry this charge into the boss room and beyond. Okay, so we know exactly where our shop and item room are based off of that, which is nice. Also, we're on the cellar again, which is actually really good now because we've already faced the hunt. Which means that this is basically Pin, Widow, Teratoma, or not Teratoma, Toma, Fistula, Pin, yeah, okay. Pin's very common, obviously. I actually don't know how the confusion works on Pin. Well, I should, though, because you get butt bombs in the Beans Challenge, as well as 99 of said bombs, and that's, and in the, in the Beans Challenge, it seems like everybody gets Pin, including myself, uh, 
So I should know how the confusion affects him. Yeah, that's frustrating. I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> Okay, super bandage. I'll probably pick that up. Yeah, I don't like these. I mean, I like Book of Belial, but I don't like it enough. I'll just take Spirit of the Night and uh, move on. Flight is good, and I'm not going to bother picking up the Nail, because I'd rather keep some amount of Red Hearts to play Blood Banks with. But uh, passing up Spirit in the Night, or Spirit of the Night, seems ill-advised, to say the least. So that's our key. I think we go to the shop, though, rather than our item room, because our item room could be next to a secret room, and there could be a key in the shop. So this is interesting. Uh, if we take stopwatch, it's like basically a guaranteed one run, but if we take blank card, we could have some fun. Lost contact. It's quite a good item. I'll take it. I'll take it, and then I'll take stopwatch. Um, and hope for more tears ups, which Libra is basically that. Now this is interesting, because Libra gave us a bunch of stuff, uh, and by stuff I mean consumables, but I will buy this. Will I buy anything else? Probably not. I think that'll be it for this floor. I might look for our super secret room, which I'm going to have to guess is right around here. No, um, I give up. You got me. There's too many other spots it could be. That's the only obvious one that jumps out at me. So Libra's great. All we need now is, uh, I don't know, like a soy milk or something. And it's phenomenal. Book of Sin. A penny. Thanks, Book of Sin. You really helped me out there. Okay, so we still have a shitload of, um... Oh wow, that's actually not, yeah, that's, this is what I was worried about. So I want Piercing Tears. <laughs> piercing Tears will be very helpful if I do find them. Because it'll actually allow us to deal damage to bullet shooting enemies. That's the main concern with Lost Contact, is that bullet shooting enemies become impossible to damage sometimes, depends on the enemy of course. Um, so there is a battery in here, which is nice. I'm not going to buy the Spirit Heart. We're going to do two more rooms, get a charge, go reroll our item room, and hope it's a good enough item to take, and then probably search for our boss room. If we can get enough charge without buying the battery, we'll do that. Uh, battery is basically our backup for if nothing works out at all. So I've said it, obviously, before. Libra, basically, all it does... Why it's so good, in my opinion, is that it balances all your stats, although it weights damage the lowest, which is generally bad. But, uh, it also gives you six consumables, and it keeps weighing out your stats for the rest of the game. So, this means that uh, if we pick up soy milk, for example, we'll have ridiculous damage. I'm a fan of the mini mush pickup. Because mini mush is good uh, for a couple reasons. It gives us a non a non-stat I mean, it gives us two very good stat advantages. Well, one very good stat advantage, and one that's kind of cheating in the way that it gives you stats. Uh, the range up on Mini Mush is kind of bizarre. But, basically, it gives us the advantage of having smaller hitbox, because our model is smaller, uh, and that doesn't have anything to do with stats. So that benefit doesn't actually get distributed over anything else. The other two benefits are speed and range, both of which are weighed higher than damage in Libra's formula. And um, the weird thing about the range is that it's actually a range down with a tier height increase. And I actually have no idea how, what the interaction is between Libra and tier height, if it's if it treats it as range or what. But overall, Mini Mush does increase your range, but it does so, like I said, at the cost of the range stat. This is awkward. Um, I think I'd just go fight the boss and hope for Devil Deal plus Krampus. Or just hope for good Devil Deals. We've already seen quite a few Devil Deal items that are not great, so the chance of us seeing good Devil Deal items are fairly good. 
I'd say they're high enough. I might reroll little Chad. I think the item is pretty not great, unless you have Dark Bum. So, times that Libra are very good, though, are times that you have not very high damage stat. If you get a lot of damage ups, Libra's pretty not good. The only exception to this is Ipecac, and that's not even really an exception. Ipecac almost follows the rule where it's bad. Yeah, so this is basically what I was hoping for. Uh, it would be even better if I didn't have to use my reroll on the head of Krampus and you just gave me a lump of coal. That'd be awesome, but you probably won't do that. Because you're a dick. Yeah. Oh god, that's so awful. Pick it up so it doesn't show up in future libraries specifically. I'm gonna go back for the battery and reroll a little Chad. I do not exactly like Little Chad, as I said before. Uh, and these shop items are obviously, there's only one. If there was a second shop item, I would heavily consider rerolling the shop pool and seeing what I get from there. Sure. HPL. I'm not upset about an HP up by any stretch. So these little little chub dudes are like pretty easy to deal with. All right, so there probably will be an arcade on this floor, but maybe not. So have we actually only seen one tinted rock in this entire run? I think so. I don't think I missed any. And if that's the case, I'm like really salty. <laughs> Justice, yeah. All right. This room's not too bad. Oh, that's a champion. Okay. I should have noticed by the larger model size. Temperance. That's pretty nice. So if we don't actually get an arcade on this floor, we can still do some abuse of the piggy bank. And the fact that we have so much HP. That's really good. Um, I actually... Yeah, I like the Holy Mantle. Um, I actually don't know how trinkets that affect your stats actually work into Libra. I, I don't know if they uh, do it independently. I don't know if they actually work into the formula normally. It seems like they work into the formula normally, considering how many shots it's taking to kill Dingleberries. So, uh, that's unfortunate. I really was hoping that our boss room would be this way. It is not. So I believe this is our last reroll on the floor. I do want to check out the shop, though. We have enough keys and plenty of money to make it worth it. Greed. Okay. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Fighting greed here is phenomenal. This means that we get at least one more... One shop in uh, Depths slash Necropolis that will not be greed. Because, yeah, this is Caves 2. So we have two more floors uh, that have shops. And only one of those floors can have greed, and it'll be super greed. Okay. Cool. So here's our boss room. Shouldn't be a difficult boss. I mean, it's caves. Double Dingle. This is probably the boss that would give me the most grief out of any possible boss here. That doesn't mean it will give me any grief. It just means that I don't think any boss here would be very hard. <laughs> Especially because we have the stopwatch and shielded tears. So, yeah. Look, Dingle can't even charge us because... Stopwatch is ridiculous. And I don't feel bad about taking stopwatch, by the way. <laughs> I uh, I have a little bit of uh, integrity when it comes to picking up items that auto win the run. Okay, Jesus Juice is fine. Um, it's a damage up, which is generally not that great. But it's also a, um, a range up which makes it a little bit better. Uh, and both both stats, damage up and range up, are fairly good on Jesus Juice. It's actually an incredibly good item. 
So we did have an arcade, which is good. This means that we can drop down our temperance card next to whatever the, the blood bank that's in here. Um, that's really unfortunate, though. <laughs> Uh, but we get two plays out of one one half heart. And coins just get to go everywhere. Blood bag. Uh, okay, so what we'll do, because there is the boss gauntlet room, we'll go check that bitch out. I don't know how I feel about taking blood bag here, honestly. So, I'd say it's generally a no-brainer to pick up Blood Bank, but if our other uh, Blood Bank pays out, I think at all we'll just reroll both. So, in that case, I shouldn't take Blood Bank, but how are we going to get it to pay out? I think there's three total Red Hearts on the ground on this floor. So, it might actually be fairly difficult to get it to pay out without taking the Blood Bank. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. Let's say that if it doesn't pay out by the time that we actually have to take the blood bag, then we will take the blood bag. But any other situation, we say fuck the blood bag and reroll both for item room items. Is it a weird play? Yeah, a little bit. Is it a good play? Maybe? Uh, oh, and also, by the way, one item that is absolutely atrocious. That's incredible. Okay, that's really good. So one item that's absolutely atrocious with Libra is Poly, uh, Polyphemus. Yeah, that's it. That's that's the name of the item. Um, and you might be like, why? It gives you so much damage. Well, because of the way that Libra's formula works, because Polyphemus takes away so much. Okay, cool. Uh, I mean, these items are okay. I'm a little upset. I kind of wished. We can search for our second secret room and also keep exploring the floor for a chance at maybe a battery. But Polyphemus gives you so much damage down, or so much damage up at the cost of tears, it gives you a gigantic tears down, um, that you'll deal less damage and shoot way slower with Polyphemus than without, with when you have Libra. Um, okay, so there's two spots that a secret room could be on this floor. Can't be here, because it can't be adjacent to the boss room. So it's either here or there. So it should be only possible to be here. Cool. Not a battery. Not a battery. Okay. So we will pick up these items then. There's no chance for a battery to be on this floor. Could look for a second secret room, but again, similar to last time, it's kind of hard to find. And by kind of, I mean impossible to find. <laughs> um, I'm okay with the, the remote control, or fucking not remote control. Um, homing bombs, because it gives us five extra bombs. Uh, I think that the controllable friend, Blue Baby's only friend, is quite good. Um, so second secret room couldn't be here. It's basically either at the end of that corridor that we were at, over there, or to the left, along one one of the sides of the big room, which is absurd, and I'm not going to bother. That's way too many spots it could be. Let's check out our curse room. Could be good. Control bombs are good enough, because it... Yeah, okay, well that was shit. Fuck that. We have Holy Mantle, I forgot. That's incredible. I'll open this up. Is it a good idea? Nah! Do I give a shit? Nah! So, the main benefit of this item, the blue baby's only friend, is the fact that it does so much fucking damage. <laughs> For a uh, random familiar. It's actually, I believe it is actually the highest damage familiar. No, that's not true at all. I didn't, I forgot about Meat Boy Bandage Girl. Alright, I'm not gonna bother. You got this, bud. Me boy bandage girl will do way more damage, but in fairness, those require four individual items, so. But by the rules that I have stated, which is familiar and damage, I guess they work. So I am wrong. Can you die? Stop shooting so many goddamn bones, I want you to die. We are just locked into a battle.
Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey! You shot me through that guy. That's horseshit. Ooh. Justice, strength. Well, I mean, we'll pop justice. It's generally good. God, that room is so stressful to deal with after it's, like, all done. <laughs> Just moving around the room sometimes when trying to, like, do things is so stupid. That's good. Not good. So let's just let Blue Baby's friend take care of this. He's pretty strong. What you got? Well, these are shit. I'll pick them up though. Because that's five bombs. Uh, as well as I don't want them to show up again because they're horse shit. And we got the two greatest items of all time. <laughs> so let's use Sharp Plug. There we go. So now we have a full charge. So now all we need is a way to reduce sharp plug damage, and we are golden. That was it? That was the whole room? One wall master that took 17 minutes to fucking drop? Serious right now, game? Enemies, please. Die a little bit faster. Yeah, we're on depths one, Necropolis one. Okay, so I'll I'll be back for that. Let's keep our overlay open. That'll be my uh, my string on the finger. I mostly want to do that in case we're gonna do some sharp plug bullshit on this floor. The bloat. So bloat could be, yeah, incredibly annoying. I'm just gonna, fuck. Why would you do horizontal? There's no reason to do horizontal there. So we're just gonna stick our familiar there and then dodge eyeballs. Easy enough fight. Took, you know, one hit, which is one hit too many. Dark bum is incredible. I believe the dark bum has now made us win the run. Thank you, Dark Bum. Now we might be able to just sharp plug. That's awesome. We might be able to just sharp plug a bunch um, without even needing like the wafer, for example. So our tier rate is getting a little bit high, which is nice. Dark Bum, go to town, bud. Thank you. So next half heart, he'll pay out. For sure. Let's just uh, avoid the whole take damage situation. Pay out. Thank you, Dark Bomb. I have to give you a raise. Do not want that. I'll. Yeah, okay. I'll take Spelunker Hat. I will also Sharp Plug uh, right now. <clears throat> So, one thing that could be phenomenal for us here would be, um, Bloody Penny. Or Old Bandage. And basically, or even potentially Fanny Pack, but I feel like our next shop is going to have Greed, which will be incredibly stressful and annoying, because I really want to buy things with my 87 cents. Dark Bum, you are the greatest, I love you, go to town. <laughs> it's all you, bud. Spider, Spirit Heart, Spirit Heart, Spirit Heart, Spirit Heart. Thank you, Dark Bomb. You really made made this this floor real nice. All right, we are at the HP cap while leaving the floor. Uh, we might not even grab that Eternal Heart. Maybe I shouldn't. Now that now that I think about it, hit Dark Bomb. You want to grab that shit? I almost don't want the Eternal Heart at all. I feel like the balance that we have of HP is like ideal right now. And if we ever need more HP, then we can use the strength card. Uh, if say, you know, we get like a deal with the devil where it's like two heart, two heart, two heart is like actually the only situation where that would matter. Whatever, you know, whatever. It'll be fine, I promise. So 
So we have D6, we have Sharp Plug. We even have, um... Uh, Habit. Which, not the greatest synergy of all time with, uh, Sharp Plug. I'll, I'll give you that. But who gives a shit? It was free. What that does allow us to do, though, is, um... Some silly shit. I'm gonna keep at least one fire not burnt or not uh, put out. This is our item room, so we'll just use a bomb to get in there sooner. Give us more rooms to potentially reroll. We got cancer. Well, what did I say? We needed wafer or cancer, and this run can basically go off the rails. So this is really good. We now have not infinite, but a lot of rerolls. I wish we had infinite. We're we're yeah, approaching infinite. Nearing infinity. Uh yeah, I'll throw a bomb here. That might only get four. Yeah. Uh, I'll take this black heart. I don't know why I'm trying to kill that enemy. So let's put it right there so we get five. A single tarot card. Temperance. Yeah, I mean, we should just do the same thing as the last arcade. This is good. So if both of these pay out, I'll have regretted... Um, okay. So they didn't. We could just reroll that a trillion times, though. It'll be. A, I'll consider it. Kind of want red hearts to drop. Like I, I just want a single double red heart drop that I can take, and dark bomb won't take. Although, okay, that's pretty good. So, I believe this counts as damage for cancer. Pay attention to the aura around us. Yeah, it does. So now we can actually just sharp plug this room already. So, okay. So I think what I'll do is I'll blow you up, and I'll blow you up and hope for red hearts. Wiggle Worm. Wiggle Worm, I think, is a Tears Up. And Tears Ups are good. I'd say Tears Up, even as, as low as, as it might be, is better than the damage up. I don't know what to do here. I think I just play this with my Spirit Hearts. This seems super questionable, but I like the idea. Alright, let's just reroll this at least once, and then we can just... I don't know why I didn't do this before. <laughs> I missed out on quite a few potential rerolls. Hmm, wow, this is not good. Uh, okay. Well, the good news is we're down to the HP required... Or the HP required, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's required to enter this room, which could have many things in store for us. It's another strength card. All right. <laughs> Is strength card even good at all? Not in my opinion. I think strength card is quite trash. It's probably the worst tarot card. Let's just shoot him. I'm trying to get a little too cute with my familiar. When I should just fucking shoot him. Wiggle Worm might not even be a tears up in this game. I mean, this would be the run that'd be the hardest to tell if it is because we have Libra. <laughs> so that's unfortunate. But. I want to visit a lot of rooms. Oh, that healed us? Interesting. That's actually interesting. So if I use this, we'll get a couple more plays on this bad boy. Without having to throw away more spirit hearts. Oh, damn, these are trash. Really not good drops. 
so far. Let's just use that. Yeah, there we go. Much easier. Uh, I still haven't seen tinted rocks like at all, which is incredibly annoying. I know they exist. Don't tell me they don't. I'll be taking that dark bomb. I apologize. Okay, so if we go to, what, two more rooms, and then we can play our blood bank and have a full charge again, and then sharp plug for half of a black heart. This guy might be a battery champion, we'll see, because I can't see the colors, he is not. But we got more plays, that's nice. Paralysis, please be in fucking, alright cool it is actually. So there is a battery in here too, which is neat. So we're gonna go back, play our blood bank, hope it pays out at some fucking point. I don't want thunder thighs. Ooh, I shouldn't have... Fuck. That was a mistake. I shouldn't have done that last one. I should have sharp plugged. Because I could have used the invulnerability spawn from Sharp Plug to play it. Is that better? That is better, right? I'm just like some kind of moron, aren't I? Why haven't I been doing that from the start? Unless it doesn't work, which is possible, but I feel like that does work. And I'm just a moron. Okay. So, now we have to take two hits before it becomes good. Hmm, okay. Yeah, we'll throw away that Spirit Heart. Reroll. No, oh, that works. That actually works really well. If we keep doing that. We actually get infinite plays. So let's do that until it pays out. <laughs> I didn't think this one through. Okay, it paid out. I'll take Child's Heart, for sure. Um, so I could short plug now, or I could just buy the battery. I'm gonna buy the battery. <laughs> Because we didn't take damage yet, so that means we would actually trade away two spirit hearts. Which is problematic. <laughs> actually, do I just pick these up and then take this battery, this full charge into the boss? I think so. Yeah. I would, I would rather take the blood bag and get my HP back <laughs> than re-roll for potential stuff. Because if we get a deal with the devil, then that's amazing. Because uh, we get to re-roll that a shitload. So slowed mom is not too bad, and this is regular mom, I can tell because of the spawns. Um, actually, I'm a liar, this is definitely blue mom, okay. <laughs> I can tell because of the spawns, immediately get butt lickers and fucking greed heads, yeah sure dude, you can totally tell. I think the greed heads are actually called guardians, something like that. Sick, got shit tons of spirit hearts, cause it's blue mom. And there's bugs upon bugs with that shit. Wow. How do I pass up Guppy's Collar? Do we have any other Guppy items? I don't think so. I think that's how I pass it up, is that we don't have shit. <laughs> that's annoying. <laughs> Alright. Goathead is pretty much too little. The definition of too little, too late. Gimpy could be okay, but probably not worthwhile. Guppy's Hairball. Still have at least one spirit art out there. I'm not sure how many are actually out there. It's at least one though. Uh, do I take this now? Yeah. So I'll I'll take this because I'm gonna take whatever this is. I'm gonna go until it's something I want, and I'd rather pay one red heart, like no matter what it is. So these are trash. I really want like brimstone. Actually, brimstone labor is pretty bad. I don't know what I want. None of these are it that yet, though. Whore of Babylon is pretty trash. Here, at least. 
I think it's a great item, normally. Wow, this is awful. Like, again, like I said, I don't know what I want. <laughs> but, it ain't any of these. Ugh, yeah, we'll go we'll go in, on, into our red hearts a bit. Alright, that, that, yeah, there we go. That's good enough. Contract from below. Sure, fuck it. <laughs> this is horse shit, though. Really, really, really bad rerolls there. Alright. Boss room is probably this way. Um, so, I mean, did I perhaps go a little too ham on the rerolls there? Yeah, no, I, I absolutely did. I should have taken the, the mark, or, uh, or, um, I don't know. There, there were a lot of things I should have taken. Guppy items as well. Like, we literally can't become guppy now. We saw all of them. And the only ones that we can get now are... Actually, no, we could become guppy. We, we could see guppy's paw, we could see guppy's head, and we can see nine lives again if we get, uh... What is it? Super pride drops nine lives? Or ultra pride? No, super pride. Super pride. Yeah, ultra pride drops left hand. Can you fucking please? Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Fuck you, key beggar. See you in hell, motherfucker. So I'm taking that red heart because I want it. If you're missing red HP, it's probably almost always better to take it instead of letting Dark Bum take it. It might actually just straight up be always better to take it. Not even like an almost always better. Explosive diarrhea. No spirit hearts in that room. There, there is a mini boss here, so maybe it's super pride and it's normal pride, which is not nearly as good. Empress, sure. Okay, so places boss room could be. I'm gonna say it's super far away, so it's probably a fairly safe assumption. We can still get one more deal with the devil, and it's on this floor. And if we get Joker, we can get one on Cathedral, or one on Chest as well. Yeah, okay, no payout yet. So, we're not, like, dead in the water. It's not great, though. <laughs> I will I will tell you that straight up. We have been much better in the past than we are right here. You know, we wanted a breaking run. This is this is what we're going for. This is our goal. Oh my god, child's heart, you're the greatest. Oh, oh, yes. Alright. Bombs are nice. I'm gonna be so sad when I find out that the boss room is actually in, like, the one fucking square away zone. Nah, it's right here. Okay. I do want to find our second secret room, probably, though. Because if it's a red heart room, that's amazing. And we have so many bombs, it doesn't matter. Like, we're not throwing bombs away. And, like, obviously we have Splunker's head, so we can, you know, find out where it is and only use one bomb to get it. Now the question is, how many rooms do we have to clear? <laughs> Best case scenario, one. Worst case scenario, a few more than one. Uh, only a few, though. Nice, best case scenario has happened. So, Red Heart Room would be phenomenal. Yeah. So this this means that we won't be able to reroll down to our Red Hearts if we want to keep this HP up. Uh, but I don't get the shit. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm going to do the same shit I did on the last floor if we get a deal with the Devil. Uh, because there's probably not even enough items to make it worthwhile to do it left in the pool. That was our holy mantle. So, with low damage, Triacnid's kind of a pain in the ass. As is Daddy Longlegs. 
Okay, so screw is quite good. I will absolutely take it. Guppy's paw. So what we're gonna do here? Um, what are you? Okay, I don't know what these are. Well, that is. So we're gonna take Guppy's paw, and we're gonna do twice, and then we're gonna reroll because we can still get <laughs> Guppy's head, or we could get Pentagram. Abaddon, which is kind of upsetting because they're both really good. I'm gonna do it. They're damage ups, which is bad for us. <laughs> Luck up, that's really cool. Uh, I'll keep the Empress. Shit. Alright, well, Guppy Dream is basically dead. There are still two guppy items that are possible to get, but it does require a specific... Okay, this is actually fine. We're doing we're doing enough damage, I, I'd say. I was mostly worried that we would get so many damage ups that it would just transfer into different stats and I would be doing no damage still. Um, but in fairness, that doesn't mean too much. <laughs> like, what do, we, what do we lose to get these two damage ups? Red hearts? That's fine by me. Uh, I guess I should poke my head in in case there was a red heart sitting on the ground. I don't know why I came to this room. I knew there wasn't anything over here. That's not entirely true. I guess there could have been a second secret room. But we could have, you know, crossed that bridge when we came to it rather than right now. <laughs> and I wouldn't fault anybody for doing that. Uh, might as well check. I'm um, okay. This is this is this could be good, huh? Super envy. You are not super pride. This is not good. <laughs> That's really unfortunate. So eh, there's still one more floor <laughs> that we could potentially get our nine lives. Uh, the downside is that we need to find in order to get Guppy. We need to get two very, very specific things. Although, the only item left in the red chest pool is Guppy's head. We actually have every red chest item except for Guppy's head. We can reroll the shit out of that guy, too. I actually think rerolling that might be very good. Wow, this is crazy. Pay out in this room, I guess. Okay. Yeah, so the pact is quite good. Again, it's basically just for, like, tears up and stuff for me. I don't like bomb bag. I mean, I like it. It's just I don't think it's good enough here. Mulligan. It's like, a, it's like baby's first guppy. Aquarius. I'm gonna keep re-rolling. There's too many good item room items to not keep re-rolling here. I do not like any of these. Halo could be good. It probably is good. I'll take the Halo. I should have uh, prepped another sharp plug charge in that room. That was a mistake. Although we have enough room, so I don't think it'll make a difference. Okay. Right there. What you got for me? Coinage. Not really do doing anything, but... So, the main benefits of Libra... Strength. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> The main benefits of Libra are mostly in the fact that um, you won't have a run where you're short on, like, you have high damage but low tiers, right? That physically can't happen with Libra. Or, you know, high damage, high rate of fire, but actually no range. Like, the, those situations can't happen with Libra, which is nice, but it also, there's a couple downsides involved. Uh, which, you know, are the fact that your damage is going to be probably lower than it would be without Libra. 
It's two of the same card. It is the Magician. Do not give a shit. Not a singular shit. Still, uh, still no Tinted Rocks, eh? Alright, we do actually do quite significant damage. Duke of Flies is dying way faster than I expected. Dark Bum. Thank you, pal. Nice. We have an extra one. Oh, my keyboard's doing that weird warbly shit. So this this is an issue with my keyboard, which is really annoying. It it angers me so much because I spend like good amounts of money on pretty good products, honestly. Like my keyboard and mic are like very good products. At least most people would agree that is the case, uh, including myself. But they have really weird issues, right? Okay. Yeah, I don't want lard. Uh, like, my mic has the issue of the cord getting a little fucky sometimes. So, I'm gonna take this. Um, because what this does, it does some pretty incredible things. Um, the longer you spend in a room, the higher your speed gets, right? That's what Taurus does. Libra constantly tries to balance, right? So, like... Our speed is constantly incrementing, but it's trying to be balanced by Libra to give to other stats as well. So what that ends up doing is it actually just means that all of our stats steadily go up as we're in a room. And the only time that Taurus procs is um, in, the, in the circumstance that you approach a specific speed. I want to say 7 is the stat number. I don't remember exactly though. I think if you get 7 speed, then it'll cap out and give you the the effect, the game kit effect, the, you know, unicorn horn effect. Um, but you never cap out, right? You you get asymptotically close, but it just, it doesn't. So as you can see, I'm fucking red as hell. And this means all of our stats are super high. Can you fucking die, dumb spider, bitch? Look at how red I am! It's absurd. You know what? Our tears ain't doing shit. Excuse me? What happened to the health bar? I think it's looking at fucking Chubb's health bar right now. So look at this. Look at look at how fucking red we are. We're red as shit, dude. No, I didn't want you to pay out. Okay, that's fine. So now we're on this floor, cathedral. Wow, every pathway is pretty equidistant. So I guess we'll we'll try out this pathway and uh, hope for the best. Excuse you. Did you mean to do that? I doubt it's this direction now that I'm looking at it, but it's okay. Still could get magic mush. Don't know how good that would be, given our current setup. Range up is great. Just wanted to double check. Wow, yeah, we're actually doing quite significant damage. This is great. I think the run is finally starting to turn on. I do want to go at least one room away from every end, just so I can see what the rooms are. For example, curse rooms. I will go to them, because they are free. Dark bomb. Let's get these down in here. Even though, like, you know, we have Holy Mantle, so it's not like it really fucking matters at all, but... That's unfortunate. Uh, let's go left this time. But yeah, the reason that you move asymptotically closer to the 7, rather than just it just being like, bah, 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 here's the number is because it doesn't overflow the, uh, like, Taurus will not overflow your speed, right? It will bring you to 7. So every time that it tries to bring you to 7, like every, let's say, tick of Taurus, 
um, that it tries to bring you to seven speed, um, it'll be like, have, you know, point oh two, and then Libra will be like, let's balance that, and then you won't be there, and then it's like, give him point oh one, and then Libra's like, balance that, and then you're not there, right, and it's just repeat ad nauseum until, you know, so you, after you, you know, approach cap, um, it's not, you don't gain many stats at that point, but you will never proc Taurus with Libra, unless your speed is innately higher than 7, which is quite rare with Libra, but if you have soy milk, it happens almost all the time, because soy milk gives you just so many goddamn fucking stats. S no, no tinted rocks, huh? Still none of those things, huh? It's really great of you, game. To give me literally zero tinted rocks for like an entire goddamn run. Uh, yeah, I will take the rusted key. Yeah, not mom's pearl. I want to take rusted key because uh, more chest is more good, and more keys is more good. So overall, it's just you know it's more good. I like more good. I like how if you stand like this, the monsters just can't fucking deal with it. They don't know what to do. Their AI just fucking locks up, dude. Alright. No tinted rocks, eh? A Lameo. Alright. Here, you got this, Blue Baby's only friend. You fucking, you got it. Oh, I should grab these keys because I have Holy Mantle. And they're free. Uh, mini boss. <gasps> nope, Super Sloth. Well, I think that's actually the last chance of getting nine lives, so out the window it goes, and into the trash. So no Guppy this run. Oh well. Judgment, yeah. Hell yeah. Let's play the fuck out of you. No. This makes us invulnerable, more or less. I shouldn't have... I, I should have sharp plugged. Well, let's just actually do more rooms. Then... Fuck. I fucked this up. Well, no, we can actually just sharp plug and pick up fucking spirit hearts, because we got them lying all over the place. <laughs> okay. Little fucking gishes. And here's our boss. Of course we have to fight the haunt right before it. Fucking haunt, motherfucker. Alright, easy enough. So, I don't believe that we can die to bullets at this point. Because we have stopwatch and the soul. The only downside is we can't really damage Isaac with our bullets. Because he shoots so many of them. So we're going to basically employ the same strategy as Mom's Heart. Which is to say, we will be more or less dodging. Um, and letting our familiar do the talking. Mantle is gone. Okay, we got an opening. Not quite an opening, actually. Oh my god, Isaac, I wish I could shoot you! Alright, you know what? Take care of this blue baby's only friend. Look at how fucking red I am! I'm red, da ba dee da ba die. It's not. It doesn't work, no. Knock it off, you stupid. Alright, Dark Bum, grab that red heart and follow me! He paid out of the spider, at least. Alright. Here's hoping that we can make this work. Welp. Yes. I believe Odd Mushroom is, like, strictly good. I'm not gonna. Well, that's piercing. I'll take it. <laughs> Our shot speed is fucking atrocious, though. 
Okay. 2020. This is amazing. 2020 is really good because it is... Um, it's essentially a damage up outside of Libra. Again, like I said earlier about whatever it was that I said it about, I think it was Minimush. Um, if something can give you benefit outside of the four stats, then it's way better. All right, you know what? This is what we're doing. Because I've passed up on it so many times, accidentally or otherwise, we're gonna try and make the dream a reality, all right? Here's, here's what we're doing. We are leaving blood rights there, and if Isaac's heart shows up, we're taking it. Taking Isaac's heart's blood rights, because it's incredibly good. Judgment, cool. And judgment, cool. Okay, bottle of pills. It is an item. Breakfast. Definitely not out of items in the item room. I will tell you that much, so. That breakfast is just a breakfast because it's in the, the beggar pool. And by the beggar pool, I mean the shop pool, shop plus item room pool, because that's basically what the beggar pool is. Can you not, though? Random bam. Well, there goes our holy mantle. Fucking tough room. Can you die? How the fuck? They're... Okay, HP in this game on double boss rooms. It gets so fucky, and I hate it. Because there's no reason that the guy in the top right should have lost any health, let alone, like, half of his health, which is what the HP bar displayed. He should have lost a little bit because of the fucking black heart right at the end, right? It shouldn't have been as much as he lost, as it showed that he lost. So I do not want Gluttony to die. Alright, and die. Cool. I wanted to kill Gluttony last because I wanted uh, Dark Bum to pick up some shit. So Gertie Jr. is... Yeah, this... Yup. I really do kind of wish I had a Lump of Coal, though. Lump of Coal would be so good with this current setup. For so many reasons. Temperance. Oh. I will bring that into the room with two items to make it so my first sharp plug usage uh, isn't two uh, hearts. Oh, Dark Bomb, you might want to grab that. I will blow up the other Temperance card, though, the one that I already placed. Or the Blood Bank, I guess, from the Temperance card. Because if it gives red hearts, then Dark Bomb will be very happy. Dark Bomb, how happy are you, motherfucker? Gave me a blue spider. That ain't bad. Um, actually, we should do this now because it would be a waste of the habit charge to not. Uh, oh, I have to actually play it at least once. The wafer. Just straight up wafer, huh? Interdast. Hmm, that's actually tough. I don't think I need it, but do I want it? Nah, let's let's not bother. Even though that also got rid of blank card, which is, you know, not not the greatest. Uh, SMB super fan. Yeah. Yeah. Oops. I fucked up. Alright, well, let's play this more, I guess.
Right. So that doesn't work the way I wished it did, which is frustrating. I mean, again, we can play that indefinitely. Um, so I'm a big fan of the Parasite, as you may or may not know. Especially with spectral piercing tiers and a large tier rate and large range. I believe it makes it quite good. Seemingly that is the case. Alright, we got double items. Yeah, so tough love is great. I could have saved a bomb by using the moon card, not like it matters though. So tough love, uh, ooh, nice. This is actually really cool, because we can reroll these into secret room items. And neither of those is really that great, so... So yeah, Tough Love, the Tooth Shot, does not actually give a shit about Libra, because it's part of the, the Tooth, right? It's it's that, rather than actually adding damage to your damage stat. So Black Lotus is great. I'm not going to take the, the Cursed Eye, though. I like the Black Lotus pickup, though, because having three extra health is great at this point. Dark Bum, you got that. It's rude as fuck. Alright. Easy enough. The only thing I could wish for at this point is more lockups. Specifically item lockups. Specifically the only one that I could really get, which is Lucky Foot. Shouldn't shoot Sloth first. He's gonna die to the fucking ricochets. Oh, wow, he didn't. This could be a really good room to reroll, or we could just pick it all up because they're great. Um, so now that we have Rubber Cement, this is amazing. We basically just create uh, Dippin' Dots. Just a flurry of Dippin' Dots that just go everywhere. Cool. So this run ended up being really neat at the end. Took a bit to, to get there, but... Uh, I will go back and reroll Seeker Room. So this should also be um, a hayout. Or this should also be a pedestal, right? Una blows up. I mean, if I let, if I blow it up by playing it, it'll be a crystal ball. If I actually literally blow it up, then it will be a uh, item pedestal. So the sun card could be good. Okay, Wheel of Fortune. This is good. That's why I'm playing it, by the way, is for chances at Wheel of Fortune cards. Because the more pedestals, the better. Um, and I will drop drop Rusty Key at some point. We can also get Lucky Toe from this. Which would be cool. The more luck upgrades, the better. Oh, it actually didn't give me crystal ball. That's interesting. These are trash. These are not great. Not good enough, I'd say. Maggie's bow could have been cool, but it wasn't. That. That is at least one item that I really want. I think I also have to grab... Sad bombs. I don't think I can pass up sad bombs. We can try something that'd be hilarious. <laughs> and I want to do it. Um, the fool. Yeah. So we'll do it after we finish the run, after we beat it. You'll probably, if you watch many Isaac streams, you'll know exactly what I'm about to do. Um, so get hype, I guess. I suppose. So now that we have piercing tears, uh, bullets don't exist. <laughs> Alright. So which room should we do it in? Big room, probably? Sure. Uh oh, okay.
locked in place. So I have actually, this is the first time I'll be doing this. I don't know how many it'll require for me to crash the game. Uh, it depends on your computer. So we're just going to go ham. So normally you have like incredibly large tiers when doing this, but it, I don't think it's gonna matter because we spawned so many tiers. My game has lagged before, even without recording, uh, with just Cricket's Body Parasite and high tier rate. So we'll see what this does, considering, you know, we have a few ways to create a few tiers, I guess. So I don't know how ham I'm going to go, actually. I don't know at what point I will actually call it. I might just go all 99. Pretty sure my game would crash right around this point, but let's, let's, let's try and ensure it. So, one way to do this is with remote detonator. But you can also just do it by entering and exiting and placing a bomb every time you enter. Is this... have I reached max bombs? I guess so. Alright, well... I didn't crash at all. That's horse shit! <laughs> I want a refund, Edmund! That didn't look nearly as cool as I had, I had hoped. But yeah, our tiers aren't really big enough to really make it seem that cool, so... Oh well, that was an unfortunate anticlimactic ending. But hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. If you did, leave a like, uh, and I'll see you guys next time.